The series tied one apiece and Australia were on a roll. The scene was set for one of the most dramatic matches in the history of Lions rugby, 12 years on from their last successful tour to Australia. The Lions of 2001 knew that defeat would mean the tour would be seen as a failure, but victory for the players and management would be the pinnacle of their rugby careers. And out come the Lions. They were in emotional ruin, they said, in that dressing room seven days ago. They wanted to shut the door on the world. But some choice words from Keith Wood and then Captain Martin Johnson too have been designed to dispel the doubts. Matt Burke, his 50th cap. Incentives for Australia today, they've got bags of them. Rob McQueen's final game in charge. They said Australia would not play badly twice, and they didn't. There are two changes from Melbourne. A trapped nerve which has rendered Stephen Larkham's arm all but motionless this week means that Elton Flatley makes his first start of the series at fly half, his first start in Australia. An injury to David Giffen means that 27-year-old Justin Harrison, the Australian player of the tour outside the test arena, wins his first cap. For ACT and Australia A, he was very impressive and feisty with it. For the Lions, it has been a week devoted to getting the mind right, but in many cases also the body. Austin Healy, previously suffering with a severely bruised leg, picked up a back injury as well. He's out. Daffy James returns. Elsewhere in the backs, Wilkinson, O'Driscoll, Henderson have all managed to shake off their ailments. How Wilkinson is walking, let alone playing, is a tribute to him and the medical team. Of course, Howley and Hill were never going to make it. Matt Dawson and Martin Corey both start. Dawson for the first time in the series. And the bottom line is that for either side today, a place in history is assured, good or bad. Amazing atmosphere, quite incredible. And taken by Wood. Grucock got some important hands on that. Wilkinson, out to Perry. What are the Lions doing here? Robinson. It was bold to the point of reckless. Islands hooker Keith Wood waits to throw in. Now he's got the line out option this week of Martin Corey back at the tail. He was looking for Grupok though, and that's stolen with Harrison getting in there, and that's what he does so well. What a start for Harrison to international rugby. And Finnegan takes it on. And the penalty to Australia. Burke kicks. And gets the three points to get Australia on their way. Only James this way, and Quinnell comes this way. Now they're flooding this side. Robinson's come across. Presents it back to Dawson. Then Corey. Neil back right in there, supporting Corey. Good territory here for the Lions. Can they get some points? Henderson, little chip in behind. Referee has seen a trip, I think. Henderson taken out. The Lions must take every three points going. And he's got that as a settling kick. Andrew Walker. Got a blow in the face. You may remember the second test, but never a doubt. Robinson to Cornell.
The instruction there from Paddy O'Brien is the players arriving at the tackle must stay on their feet. As soon as they go to ground, O'Brien will blow his whistle. Matt Burke kicking towards the yellow bin liners, which have been put over the seats behind that set of posts to encourage a splash of Australian gold. But both the top tiers at either end almost exclusively red. But that is a superb kick. Dawson will put in. And Corey keeps Gregan out of the way. The call from Keith Wood there to get the ball out. And Scott Quinnell, as soon as he heard that, didn't hang around. But then failing to release in the tackle. And Harrison and Johnson square up. And Johnson's taking no nonsense from the new cap. Take him away. Matt Burke to make it 9 3. It's an accomplished kicking display so far from the most capped Australian fullback of all time, Matt Burke. Dawson, Wilkinson, Henderson. Quinnell tried to get there quickly. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Dawson's got it again. Wilkinson, out it goes to Walt. On to Tom Smith. Jason Robinson. He's done it again. Keith Wood, George Walker, Tom Smith. Gives the pass, and Robinson can't be stopped from there. But it's the decision earlier to change the point of the attack that made the difference. A well-played Tom Smith. Georgie Gregan, the best cover tackling nine in the world. No chance there. Setting off in the right direction. Wonderful kick. Here go Australia. Half-time approaching and flatly to Walker. This position very much of the Lions' own making. With the knock-on. Again, he wouldn't normally expect to miss from here. And he does. Well, pressure is an overused word, but there's no doubt that Matt Burke must be feeling it to miss that sort of kick. Helps the Lions' mindset. Flatley, Kefu. Hands up! Gregan to Flatley. Little show from Gray, but his intention was clear. Gregan again, and when Gregan got moving and playing those passes inside to fit Finnegan last weekend, that's when Australia really got moving. And a monumental second half, the scrum half in the second test, and he's fizzing there. Out to Andrew Walker, to Joe Rolfe, to Daniel Herbert. It's a beautiful work score. And when they retain the ball, you can see their greatness. Herbert, first of all, it's a lovely ball from Walker. Rough, easy as you like, and Herbert is under. Grucock retrieving from Corrie's palm. Quinnell. Someone's got to go with him, it's Corrie. Dawson to Henderson, who makes his first break. And Jason Robinson wasn't given the ball. He would have been tackled. Good decision from Henderson. This is Johnson. Back toward. Back again to Dawson. Wilkinson comes this way with O'Driscoll. No, it doesn't. Dawson's long pass to Corey. Johnson tries to barge his way through. Back. 
Henderson is tackled. All the time, the Lions trying to suck in the cover. Referee playing an advantage. Maybe seeing a penalty there. Johnny Wilkinson has a dart. Then it's Neil back. Now it's Scott Quinnell. Dawson. Wilkinson. Miss move in the centre. O'Driscoll. Daffy James. Great tackling from Australia. Marvellous defence there. This will be the final play. Keith Wood. What a way to go down the tunnel if the Lions can get something here. Dawson. Stopped right on the gain line. Keith Wood has got it. They're going to try and blast it. But now Dawson decides to release the backs and give it to Wilkinson, then Robinson. There's certainly numbers waiting on the left. Great retention here. Dawson. Henderson. Stopped by three. It needed three. Another advantage. Australians coming offside all the time. Dawson again. Wilkinson. Tom Smith. Well, he dropped the ball. And the Lions will get a penalty. All you can say is good luck. And the news on Scott Quinnell, hamstring problem, which have been lingering all week, to be honest. Did well to get 40 minutes out of it. Corey, fine take of the line out. Now remember that shoddy start to the second half last weekend. Well, not so now from the Lions. Can they reproduce first test form? Oh, Driscoll. Jarvis gets a touch, Dawson to Corey. Dawson again, Henderson charging onto that, well taken by Grucott, little sidestep too. Now it's Jason Robinson. Dawson, Wilkinson, Keith Ward. Oh, what a charge from Ward. Dawson again, Wilkinson, it's a short ball. Henderson fancied it. Thought he could get through. Stay back. Leave it. Dawson once more. All about picking the right option and picking the right man. That man is Johnny Wilkinson. The check, the go. Daniel Herbert can't stop him. He's worked so hard on his mobility and his lightness of foot. Johnny Wilkinson's big moment. He left Kafu for dead now to make this a seven point up. Could make such a difference, but such a long way to go. Wilkinson composes himself after his try to add the conversion. Here's Harrison, Gregan, Nathan Gray, Gregan again. Kefu scrambling on and nearly getting there. Gregan, oh, it must be. It is Herbert again. Great strike back from the Wallabies. Easy for Foley. The Lions were sucked in by the power of Kefu. And Gregan, he knew where the support was. He knew where the space was. Wilkinson looking for width here. Oh, Driscoll! Oh, that is dangerously high. Oh, Driscoll stooped a bit, yes, but it was still high. He must kick them down. Yeah, it's a yellow card. No, he took them high. It's a yellow card. High. Wilkinson to level. You have 
have to marvel at his corners. Johnson and Grucock. And the mall gets going, and there's very little resistance there from Australia because they simply didn't have the men in position. And the Lions go again. Now, if they bring this down, and Foley is trying to bring it down, it'll be a penalty. Dawson to Wilkinson. Long pass wasn't on, he didn't want the interception. It's coming back to Gregan, though, and Walker. But he's done a lot better than that before. Another marvellous turnover by Australia. Johnson again to Grucock. Let's go once more. Three on the trot to Johnson. Bank a ball. Back leaves it. Lost a little bit of control there, the Lions pack. But no matter because the Moor was pulled down. So close, but it might as well have been a long way away. No points for Wilkinson, no points for the Lions. A quarter of the game left. Finnegan's move to the front. Do they go Johnson against him? Was there some pushing? There was. Penalty Australia. Silly. Matt Burke. With history weighing heavy on his shoulders, Matt Burke produces a sublime kick. Gregan. Holbeck is on for Australia. Nathan Gray is off, there's Holbeck. This is Gregan and Herbert. It's another penalty. Hands on the floor. Australia have gripped this game. It will be an iron grip if this goes over. Burke with history at his feet. Curry. Dawson. Wilkinson. O'Driscoll forced to stop on the take. O'Driscoll going for glory. Dawson again, Wilkinson, Henderson, and stopped. Herbert did well there to get his body in the way. Wilkinson, they're counting down the clock. It's behind Borshaw, need to keep it in. Travis, it's still alive, I think. Robinson tries to tap it. Walker will run it out. Walker will run it out. Australia. Their first series win against the Lions. They'd come so close, but the Lions deprived at the very last. Australia showed just why they are world champions. But every single member of the squad can hold his head up high. These truly were Lions to be proud of.